So I had a meeting yesterday with Checkpoint and they showed me this new personal wizard. And I think it's pretty cool. I wasn't aware of this because I'm not really an appliance guy. But all new appliances, they are sent out with a QR code. So if you scan this QR code, you get the instructions on how to rack the box and how to actually run this first on wizard. And I have selected to have this on-prem because I don't have a smart one cloud, but you also have instruction how to do it for smart one cloud as well. So I have a PC in the other room and it's connected with a console cable in the form of a USB-C and I put up some pictures here to the appliance box itself. So it's a USB-A to USB-C that act as a console cable. <laughs> I needed to install drivers to make this work and you have the option here to to get the drivers themselves. I don't know what's the differences here between this, but I have a 6400 uh, appliance, so I select the, this one, I believe. I'm not admin on my local PC, so I needed to ask my IT yeah, my IT support to install this uh, this driver, fairly simple. But it's something that you may need to, to fix in advance uh, if you don't have local admin on your PC and actually download this serial driver. The serial driver is, of course, locked behind the login screen, so you can actually not download it without having an account on Shakebox website. I think this is a bit stupid to not be able to download the driver without an account, but you can prep it in advance. So... We see here that I have USB serial port uh, 7, and it's my console. And the idea here then is I have remotely connected to the laptop. I'm using Zoom, like I sit remote, and you have a field engineer on site and plug in his PC or her PC and do a screen share, and then you can do uh, the first time with said easy. So the first step is more or less to download the driver, connect the, the, the PC to the appliance, and then make sure to power on the appliance. And Checkpoint, of course, recommend this new way. Uh, the old way is still there. You can still just do a console and put in an iPad and connect remotely if you want to. But, uh, well, the new guys maybe want an easier way. So you can press connect and then you will need to select the USB cable, and in this case, it's this one. So here is the new GUI on how to actually configure this. So, of course, this is uh, pretty new, and uh, I guess Checkpoint wants some feedback on how this this looks more or less. So one thing that uh, I noticed right away, like okay, how to actually change the 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 name of the gateway, but uh, well. If you just highlight it, it, it will show here. So um, CPU firewall 01. And here you can select if it's a cluster member or a single security gateway. I will just select the single security gateway to make it easy for now. And uh, put the generic password. And next one is to configure the interfaces. And... My plan is here to actually configure the correct uh, IP addresses for this thing so it can reach the box more or less directly. So uh, for the management interface, I want to have dot two. Honestly, I should have made it for a cluster as well, but ah, never mind. And for Ethernet 1, this is the one I'm going to connect the internet with. Yeah. And it's a slash 24. And then um, I have a sync interface. 268, 250 slash 29. And I have a default gateway. And we have some uh, DNS servers. And I think that's all that we need for... We have management sync and Ethernet 1. And that should be enough. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is something I think is pretty cool. So, if you send out a box, uh, this box can be manufactured like six months ago and you don't really know what sort of like vulnerabilities or whatever it is on it. And Shakebot has actually put in and highlighted that like this uh, current version is um, at risk for this specific vulnerability. Make sure to protect it. And here you can select like, okay, which version do you want to have? So this specific box, it comes with uh, R81.10. So this is the this is the factory default one. And I will just select this for now. And SICK password is a one-time password when you connect to the management station. And uh, this, I didn't know what this was before, but uh, this, if you want the uh, first time wizard to automatically create a gateway object within your management station. So I think this is um, pretty cool. Maybe we should try this out later as well. Maybe we should try it out with building cluster from scratch as well. Maybe even do uh, an update to or it 1.20. I don't know. We can, we can do a lot of things here, but let's keep it simple for now. So this is the time zone. Next. And then you get some um, um, some basic information like this is the firewall name, this is the version, uh, this is the time zone, the NTP servers, the interfaces, and more or less you s sign your life away, like normal. And then you just click finish and you get some progress bar on how this first time wizard is going. And after this, the first time wizard is done and you should be able to connect to the um, uh, the Gaia portal and uh, do the rest. So now when the first time wizard is done, we should be able to copy the IP address of the management interface and just log into the box. And you just select the password that you selected under the first time wizard and uh, I did select one, uh, VPN123. So we're able to log in and we are able to, to see our interfaces and they are configured. Uh, we're also able to see, uh, no thank you. So we're also able to see the, the hot fixes for the, the issue that Checkpoint reported within the first time wizard. And this is something that is dynamic because it has uh, internet access from your from your PC. So I think this is it for the initial view on the first time we said when it comes to single gateway. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.